Watch this dog transform! Boop! Boop! Wait, I can't click him. Come on! Hey, you! Uh, got it! Hey, what's going on dudes? It's Mitch, or Beijing Canadian here, and I am super pumped to be bringing you my first ever mod showcase. It has been way too long in the coming. I know a lot of you dudes have been asking for it and going, Mitch, where is it? You can do this, please, Mitch, please, please, please. Well, it's here! It's finally here! And I have someone very, very special to introduce you all to. So let's go ahead and walk inside my little laboratory of sorts down here and say hello to Little Nacho! He's so cute. Some of you might recognize him from the Nexus logo. This guy is the cyborg transforming robotic awesome little pup or wolfie and uh, I love him. Look how cute he is. He's got a nice little radar scanner eyeball, some cybernetics on his booty. Look at him. Oh, he's so cute. Yes. <laughs> and I actually have something very special to share with you to introduce Nacho to the team here. And uh, it's an awesome little animation clip made by Flashcode. So enjoy this flashback of me and Nacho in, uh, in our prime and I will see you all shortly. So I hope you all really, really enjoyed that animation. It was awesome to see. Really great job by Flashcode. Check his channel out, link in the video details. And definitely smack that like button already if you haven't even thought about it yet, because this is going to be sweet. Tons more mod showcases to come, of course. I haven't even gotten into this one yet. But anyways, I'm just so hyped, and I hope you dudes all are too. And anyone who's new to my channel, well, I hope you'll consider sticking around and, and uh, having some good times and, and milk and udders and stuff. Anyways, here we are. We've got Nacho, our little wolf pup. And we are actually doing something today called the Doggy Talents Mod Showcase. It's been updated for 1.7.10, so there's a lot of new and cool, unique features to it. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it by saying that little Nacho right over there. You know what he's about to do? He is a transforming cybernetic dog. And Nacho, get ready! Boom, 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 boom. He loves me. Yes, he does. Now follow me, Nacho. Follow me, please. Come here, little buddy. You can do it. You can do it. Let's go. Come here, you. Come here. Oh, look at him teleporting like that. He's so sweet. The doggy goodies chest. Let's see what we got here. We got a lot of different kind of treats. I'm going to start with just standard training treat. And I'm going to watch this dog transform. Boop. Boop. Wait, I can't click him. Come on. Hey, you. Uh, got it. Look at that. <laughs> He's now... A regular, plain old puppy wolf, and he's adorable still. But he did that with his mind. He's so powerful with his cyber. Hey, where are you going? Hey, what are you doing? What are you? Do Why are you going over there? That's fine though. That's fine. I'm gonna walk back over to my chest and start explaining some of the items and things that are in this mod. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Hopefully, hopefully he'll follow me over here. And and if not, well, I'll find a new way. Like busting through this wall. I know you're here. I can smell you. There he is. <laughs> Get over here, you. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and run through some of the doggy goodies, some of the essentials of this mod as Nacho comes back inside. Actually, let's go ahead and name him right off the bat. So we're going to go ahead and uh, grab these training treats, the super treats, the master treats, and the dire treats. So that is the tier of how they go. Dire is the highest, training is the most basic. So I'm going to train you to the maximum training level, so level them up a whole smackaroony bunch. And now it'll say your dog is too high of a level to gain anything else from these treats. And that is perfectly fine with me. I'm going to take a plain old vanilla stick, right click him, and it's going to open this awesome, awesome menu here. So now that you have this screen, you get to do things like, first of all, name your dog. I'm going to go ahead and call him Nacho because Nacho is awesome. And you also have all of these skills or talents that you can now teach edumacations your dog with. Edumacations, yeah, that one. <laughs> so there's so many cool things. You can actually change his collar color as well. As you can see, the collar on him is changing. I'm going to go to number 16 
because I like the uh, the black and white checkers. It's pretty cool. Um, you can choose to have him obey other players. I'm going to leave that on false because I'm the only one on the server anyways. And you can change his mode. So docile, as you can see, he will just follow me around but won't attack anything. And he's ready for me to toss bones and have some fun. So I'm going to leave him in docile and I'm actually going to throw him a bone. Where's my bones? Where's my bones? I don't have a bone. Let me grab one real quick. I'm going to grab a throw bone. And you can, you can stand up off that booty. Go fetch! Fetch, buddy! Go get it! Yeah! Yeah! He's gonna get that bone and bring it back! Yeah, Nacho! And... Thanks, buddy. Oh, you drooled all over that thing? You drooled, really? Ah! Oh, now I got a drooled up throw bone. That's nasty. That's okay. I'm gonna put it back in the doggy goodies chest over there. Um, so yeah, that is how it works when you want to use the training treats on them. So I'm just going to really quickly run through the recipes for the treats. It's super simple. Training treat, just like this. Some string, bone, gunpowder, sugars, and a wheat. Ooh, baby, that looks juicy. And then the uh, super treat is very simple. Five training treats and a golden apple. And you're going to move up onto the master treat, which is five super treats and a diamond. And all the way over to the dire treat, the dire wolf treat. It's five masters and an end stone. And uh, this may look overwhelming. A lot of this stuff looks like it's a lot of resources, and it honestly is. But here's the good news. Let me show you this real quick. I'm going to grab all of the treat ski doodles out of this chest and open up the workbench and craft it. And it's actually going to give you five of these at once. So it's not totally impossible to get these treats because you are getting five at once you're getting rewarded as you go so it's not too too crazy but it is still quite a bit so i'm gonna grab these super treats i don't need them i'm in creative anyways um but little doggy nacho time for me to teach you some new talents get over here you hey stop stop being crazy there we go now there are so many choices here i'm not gonna run through every single one with you if you want to check them out for yourselves Please feel free to download the mod, link in the video details, of course. But I will run through some of my personal favorites, the ones that I think are the coolest, which are Black Pelt. It's the first one on the list, but it is sweet because it improves the damage that your dogs, your wolves are going to dish out. It increases the critical hit chance. So I'm going to throw one level into Black Pelt. And if you notice, I now have 34 more points to spend. And every time you level up, it costs more. So level one is one point. Level two is going to cost me two, so my points are going to drop to 32. Level three is going to cost me three, so my points are going to drop to 29. Level four is four, and level five is five. So now I'm down to 20 points. I spent a lot just to get maxed out Black Pelt, but it's worth it because it's going to do a lot of damage. And each time I level it up, it increases the critical hit rate. So it's going to be like a machine out there. This natural pup is going to hurt. And you know why he's also going to hurt? Because I'm going to give him the Hellhound, which gives him a chance to light things on fire that he attacks. Throw one level into that. I'm going to go over here to Poison Fang, which, as you can guess, is going to give your dog the chance to poison opponents. And I'm going to throw a level in that one, of course. And here's where things get cool. The Wolf Mount. I'm going to throw a level into Wolf Mount because I want to be able to ride my dog into battle like a crazy maniac. And I'm also going to throw a level into Doggy Dash because that's going to increase the movement speed um, while I'm running around and chasing targets. So that is going to be awesome. So now when I'm chasing down a spider or, or a skeleton, whatever it may be, my dog's going to run ultra quick at him and mow him down. It's going to be sweet. And um, what else do we want to throw on here for our dog? I'm definitely going to add the... Um, the shepherd dog, because that one's just cool to look at. I'll showcase that one for you. And I think I might also do the, um, hmm. Do I want to do this? Yeah, so let me think about it. So where do I want to spend my last 15 points? And I can throw tons more on here with the super master and uh, dire treat, so don't worry too much about it. For now, I'm just sort of deciding what I want to do. Do I want to, yeah, I'll throw, uh, Let's think about this. This is serious business. Guard dog status. There we go. Maxed out guard dog. Spent 15 points on that. And it's worth it because now my pup is going to absolutely obliterate things with its damage. And it's going to keep me safe by uh, absorbing some hits for me. So thanks, Nacho, for being such a babe. You the best. I love you. And something to take note is if you can see, not that random code when I crouch, but if you can see, he's got a number next to his name there. It keeps dropping. It's at 30. So what that means is he's hungry and I got to feed him. So let's go over to the doggy goodies. I'm going to grab the food bowl and three pieces of steak. I'm going to drop the food bowl down and I'm going to put my pieces of steak in here. And as you can see, he's already eaten one from all the way over there somehow. And he's now up to, well, six to nine. Great number. Great number, Nacho. Good choice. And um, that is that is pretty freaking cool so next up what i want to do is show you little nacho in battle 
So I was going to spawn in using these evil mobs in this chest, but I might not even need to because there's a skelly over there. So I'm going to go ahead and use the stick on him, turn him off of docile. I'm going to bring him all the way to berserker mode. And look at that. He's going in hard. He's fighting that skelly for me. Take him out. Take him down. I don't even have, I'm in creative mode. I'm not even getting attacked by the skeleton and he still wants to kill it. And he did. He wrecked the skeleton in three quick, easy peasy, lemon squeezy hits. What a babe, Nacho. Thanks for the boobs. You're the best. <laughs> but I am going to jump out of this really quick. And I'm going to need to heal. Wow. I'm going to need some food of my own. Let me borrow that, Nacho. Thanks. I'm going to eat one of these. I'll give you the last one. Don't you worry. That's for you. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and level him up a bunch more. Where'd he go? Nacho, stop being crazy. I need to, I need to turn him off of berserker mode. I don't want him to go crazy. I'll put him on aggressive. So anything that attacks me, he will now attack. There we go. And time to level you up. Super treats. Super, super. Ugh, I'm not in creative anymore. That's okay. Master treat. Master, master treat. I can't even use this yet. That's the thing with the dire treats. You can't use it until you've maxed out all of the other levels. So you can bring them all the way to level 40 using super and master treats. And then you can bring them to level, I believe it's, uh, I don't want to quote myself on this, but I think it's 20 or 30 for the, the dire levels. So you can do a lot of work with this guy and get him to have a lot of awesome skills and things that he can do. So come over here, Nacho. There's something we got to do together. And that is round up some sheep. So let's do this. Sheep ski doodles, sheep ski doodles. And watch how simple this is. All I gotta do is hold the wheat, and because he has a sheep herd dog on him, boom, he's gonna come and grab a sheep for me. Come on, come on, Nacho. You can do it, buddy. You can do it, buddy. Get over here. Stop glitching up. Grab a sheep. Put one of those on your head already. I say, grab me a sheep. The sheep are following me, but grab one. Nacho, please. Nacho, please. Don't listen to me, fine. At least kill this zombie for me. Coming in hot. He's coming in hot. I'm gonna ride you. I'm gonna ride you valiantly. Hiya. Hiya. Let's go. It's like a horse. Oh god, this zombie hurts a lot. But we did it. We did it, Nacho. Thanks. Now, put a sheep on your head. You lousy. That's it. I'll put you more levels in there. Put a sheep on your head. Put a sheep on your head. He's trying to round up a sheep. Oh, never mind. He's fighting the sheep because I punched the sheep. All right, you know what? Maybe it's because he's in aggressive mode. So that's we're learning as we go here too. Let's put him into docile. And now, oh, zombie. I'm not, I'm not ready for you. Zombie on the track. Not ready. All right, wheat. Come on, Nacho. Come on, boy. Don't make a fool of me. Don't make a fool of me, please. Please, buddy. Just put sheep on your head. Put a little sheep on your head, please. You're so cute, but put a sheep on your head. Look, I give you this bone. Can't learn anything from it. Now. Put a sheep on your head now! I swear this is supposed to work, but I guess with all mods, sometimes things are a little buggy, but it worked earlier. I tested it out, and he put a sheep on his head, and it looked great. You know what? As punishment, Nacho, I'm going to put you on my head. If I right-click him with a bone, he goes on my head. Look. <laughs> now you're all mine, and that's what was supposed to happen. He was supposed to throw a sheep on his own head, but for some reason, it didn't work, and there's so many zombies. It's a zombie takeover. I need to put him back in berserk mode. Go. Be free. Go, Berserk, go, Berserk, don't sit, go Berserk, oh no, he's on my head again, go, Berserk, too many items on me, yes, kill them, kill them, Nacho, kill them, <laughs> oh, that is so sweet, thank you, buddy, you the best, and the only other thing I wanted to show you, it's really just decorative for fun, as I dodge here, is da -da -da -da, the doggy bed, uh, you just put it down and you know you can right click your dog when he stands on it to make him look like he's sleeping on his comfy little bed But Nacho's go- how'd you get on fire? Oh no, when you when you punch a zombie, that's kind of counterintuitive <laughs> If he lights a zombie on fire then hits it, he goes on fire. That's a bummer. Oh well, so Nacho I'm, I'm gonna let you rest up a bit. Come over here. Come here, buddy. You get to rest And got him. See now he's on his bed and he looks adorable and you know what? The final part of the mod showcase, which is really useless, and that's why I originally had it placed here in the evil mobs chest, but I guess it somehow got removed. There are other items. There are command emblems, so you can create things that um, that give your dogs commands. Like you can shoot snowballs at things, and it'll make it attack, make it do certain activities. Uh, but that's something you guys should explore on your own. I just want to cover some of the basics and show off some of the fun features of the mod here. And uh, so the last thing, which is not fun at all, I don't even know why it exists, but... You could take collar shears, and it's just like in Pokemon. 
You could set him free. Nacho, be free. He's still got a name, but he's no longer my wolf. I can click him with a stick and it doesn't do anything. He's just a wandering little buddy. You do what you got to do. You do you. All right, he wants to go for a swim. Oh, he's so cute, isn't he? And uh, that is just about going to cover this mod showcase. I hope you dudes all enjoyed this very first one with that very special animation. And of course, if you did, please be so kind as to smash that like button on your forehead. Show some support here. It would mean a lot if we could break some crazy, crazy like goals. I'm not even going to put a number on it, but I'd love to see something epic here today. And uh, let me know in the comments if I should be doing more mod showcases. And if you have something you want me to cover really badly, let me know and I will get to it as soon as I can. So that is it. I am out of here. I will talk to you dudes all later. And good night.